Attorney General Rob McKenna, I would like to know why your office is not protecting me and covering up the crimes of others. Your office handled the police-involved domestic violence case that I was a victim in. By the time they got the case, they knew, and your office is in possession, of tons of evidence of crimes that were committed against me. Of my rights being violated and everything I endured for over almost four years now. And instead of the compassion and understanding you talk about saying you have a wife and, and a family, I don't think you'd want your wife or family treated the way I was treated. Your office has covered up for the crimes that were committed against me. There's police involved, domestic violence, laws, policies, procedures, guidelines. None were followed. From Port Orchard Police to the Kitsap County Prosecutors and some weren't followed from the Kitsap County Sheriffs. Your office knew of this. Um, your office has this paper. So I would like to know, you have prosecutor, Kitsap County prosecutor, Kevin Hull, who abused his position and power and illegally released guns that were safely locked away in an evidence locker, along with Port Orchard Police Chief Al Townsend, the defendant was a um, police officer, a Port Orchard police officer. So his chief and the prosecutor were not only not looking out for my safety, they actually put me in more danger. And your office has done nothing. I would like to know why. You are the Attorney General. On your website, you have all this stuff for police officer involved domestic violence, not, nothing was followed in my case. Nobody protected me. On November 10th, 2011. February 3rd, there was another hearing. And the paperwork that I had to beg for to find out what happened at this hearing that I didn't know went on. There's discrepancies with the sentencing. Your assistant attorney general keeps saying 23 years. I said that was on November 10th. I'm asking, I have sentencing questions about February 3rd, which if I'm reading the laws correctly, it would show he's getting out sooner, the defendant in this case. He refuses to answer. I mean, there's just something very wrong going on here. One example of how your office was trying to get rid of this case is I have an email. In this email, John Hillman sent to me. He says he's going to offer a plea deal to the defendant. 
and if the defendant decides not to take the plea deal, then they will dismiss the entire case. And not only will they dismiss it, but they won't tell me when he is being released. Somebody tries to kill me. And your office sends a domestic violence victim a letter like that? You're just going to release somebody and not tell me? You're going to release somebody who tried to kill me? The defendant who tried to kill me. You're going to release the defendant who tried to kill me. And not tell me? And I'm left in a wheelchair, defenseless. This is the stand your office takes on domestic violence? This case, it was an attempted murder case. On September 12th, I called, I left very polite messages asking supervisors for a Department of Justice for federal investigation into everything I had endured over four years. The only response I got was John Hillman to call me. He called and told me that I need to stop asking for a federal investigation. I need to stop calling and asking people for a federal investigation or Department of Justice investigation. And by the way, I've discussed it with everybody else. Not me, everybody else. We're dropping attempted murder charges. A police-involved domestic violence victim is asking for a Department of Justice investigation. She gets one phone call back. And that's from the Assistant Attorney General telling her to stop asking and that they're now dropping attempted murder charges? I felt like I was punished. Punished for asking for my own rights. The appeal was due last week. The response from your office for the appeal for a new trial was due last week and I am reaching out and if you don't help me I'm begging the public I cannot be railroaded the way I was I cannot be treated the way I was I am trying to save my life and if an investigation isn't done and the truth doesn't come out, the defendant will be set free. I am fighting for my life. And everybody thinks I'm going to shut up. I'm still having so many rights violated. Your office is still violating them. I have kids of county. Um, Prosecutor Russ Hogg, Ian George, uh, public disclosures and information I need for my safety, they refuse to give me because it will incriminate other people who committed crimes against me. I've been in a nightmare. Now, why does Russ Hogg get away with this? Because he knows your office has all of this evidence and nobody's done anything. I have had, if you count every count over the last four years and you count all the disability, all the victims rights, all the civil rights, the basic human rights, every count, it is over 1,000 counts of violations of my rights and the worst is everything your office put me through everything kids of county put me through I'm still sitting here fighting for my life information I need in public disclosures kids of county won't give to me blatantly breaking the law Blatantly, Ian, Prosecutor Ian George, Prosecutor Hall, and others, blatantly breaking the law. I mean, it's been going on for four years, and nobody has stopped them. And your office took this case. And if they would have stopped them, 
it wouldn't still be doing it. I have Kitsap County Sheriff's uh, Lieutenant Kathy Collins, who uh, from the Sheriff's Department, who is in charge of public records, who has broken every so many laws, it's ridiculous, in public disclosure, telling them I need this for my safety. They don't care. The cover-up is more important. She has, she's the next Kitsap County prosecutor. She knows the laws, but she blatantly breaks them. I have Sergeant Jim McDonough of the Kitsap County Sheriff's Department. Fuses to do an investigation, is breaking the laws. There are so many color of law violations, so much cover-up, so much corruption. It is corruption when you're covering up crimes. There have been so many crimes. And I am not going to be railroaded like the last trial where I was denied my disability rights. I have brain injury and things are difficult. I needed the jury to know why I might not sometimes act the same as other people. I begged your assistant attorney general, John Hillmans, please let the jury know at first. He made me get on that stand for hours while I was fighting for my life. For hours without them knowing. People got up there and discredited me. And your office had the evidence that they were lying about me. Your office just allowed me to be discredited. This was at the risk of my life. Your office and others are risking my life trying to cover up. It is time for people to start doing the right thing. Take accountability. Because all you guys are doing is, yeah, you're making my life miserable every day. I'm in fear for my life. But you're also digging the hole deeper for yourselves. And what I wanted was a little bit of information. I'm now into something so big. And my life is at risk. What? What? I didn't commit a crime. But I'm paying for the crimes of everybody else. From the Port Orchard Police Chief to Dale Schuster, Sergeant Dale Schuster, the Port Orchard Police, to uh, Kevin o of Kitsap County Superior Court Judge. I need you to help me, Rob McKenna. Are you there to protect the people or not? And you might say you're too busy. Oh, wait till I get into office. There's no amount of money and there's no amount of campaigning. That if you sat here and did the right thing, would bring you more rewards and respect from people. I am one woman fighting by myself. Just by everything your office gets up, county prosecutor's office, Port Orchard Police, kids of county sheriffs, and others, despite everything they've put me through to this day. I thought I'd be free. This cover-up is going to cost me my life. All I ask is for an investigation so the truth can come out. So that if ever he wins an appeal, I don't have to worry. Because I do know, the last time your office first kids up county and your office were trying to throw this trial. I need to make sure the whole truth is out.